they have? What, what, what have those guys been able to do to, to get on the field and get involved? Well, we just, you know, we're part of the game plan every week, and we've done a good job blocking in the run game, and, you know, that showed up in the first couple of games, and then the last game, uh, in some of those sets, we were able to get out and play action and catch some passes. So, hey, like we said all along, we're just, we're just doing whatever we're asked to do, and it's not designed to go one way or the other. It's just designed Running to... with the ball after the catch last week, getting some big gains for, for you. Yeah, they did a nice job of catching it and getting vertical, and, you know, hey, tight ends aren't usually the fastest guys on the field, so the... Uh, short distance between two points is a straight line. We talk about that all the time. Get the ball, get vertical, and, and they did that. How have they? Uh, how have they blocked for you? Yeah, I, I think they've done well. You know, we struggled a little bit last week. I think everybody did, and we've got to do a better job of, uh, of uh, keeping our eyes up, hands inside, don't get any stupid penalties. Um, but for the most part, they've, they've done uh, their fair share. Have you seen an improvement as the years go along? Well, I think their technique gets better. You know, you're playing guys who didn't play quite as much last year. You know, Jake. Uh, Rowe and, and Alley didn't play at all, and so every time they, they step on the field, they're a little bit wiser. And uh, talk about being a savvy football player, the only way to do that is to gain experience, and, and that's what those guys have done with the, you know, every game they're under their belt, you can see there's a little bit more um, technically sound, there's a little bit more savvy to, to what they're doing. Getting Holden back in the mix after the first game, what would he provide? Well, he's a big body, one, and he's, a, he's really good at the line of scrimmage, and, and he's probably got the most experience of anybody, and so, Getting him back and, and being able to stay fresh, rotate guys throughout the game, I think is probably the biggest key, and, and he's able to do that. And, and you know, we've got a four tight end rotation right now, and we feel good about it, and trying to keep everybody fresh. Alec Lazane, he's kind of been the primary fullback guy. What, what do you like about him for, for that particular role? Well, he's big. You know, he's, he's mean. So <laughs> if you're big and mean, let's play fullback, right? So no, he, he does a good job, and it's something he can focus on and get better on, and, and we've got all kinds of different roles for that. And so it was something that we could try to kind of just put him there and play to his strengths. I think, you know, we talked about two a days. Let's just figure out what everybody's strengths are and then play to those. And right now, fullback happens to be his strength. You get uh, Connor back next week. How, how will he kind of plug into to what you're doing once you get him back on the field? Yeah, to be honest, I, all I worry about is ULL, you know. And so I'm playing with the guys we got. And ULL is the most important. Thank you. ULL is the most important thing we got going, and so I, you know, I don't worry about guys that aren't going to be there. We'll worry about that when they really get back. But our job is to beat uh, Louisiana Lafayette. I know firsthand. We talked about, you know, all, everything that's going to be on the tight ends' plate this year with the playbook, and how's how's everything gone so far in the first few games from getting lineup, the shifts and motions, and all that stuff. You know, well, there had there hadn't been really any fire alarms or disasters or anything, you know, timeouts or anything like that. So that's been good. You know, we're, we're able to practice every week. we got smart guys in that room and are able to handle whatever they've been asked to do. And so I appreciate the work they've done. And, hey, it's part of the game plan. We're going to learn Monday through Saturday and Friday and get it done on Saturday. You, you kind of touched on, on Jake Rowe and the more that he played. I mean, he's only played three football games in his college career. But how have you kind of seen him continue to grow? And, and he's playing, I mean, almost almost every snap, it seems like now. Yeah, he plays a lot of snaps. I look forward to you sending out your tweets about how many snaps he gets that way I'll <laughs> count him up. But, uh, no, he's playing a lot of snaps. You know, I tried to I, – I, that was one thing after the Colorado State game I didn't feel good about. I felt like I should have rested him a little bit more and not tried to wear him out as much. But he's playing good. He's playing with a great effort. And, and as more – as I get comfortable and more and more comfortable, the coaches get more and more comfortable putting the other guys in. We'll continue to do that. But, uh, you know, I'm proud of Jake. And, and like I said, you know, like you said, he's three games in. and. He's made some good plays for us. He's got to continue to do that. By no means is he an end project, um, but he's showing progress. What has set him apart from the other guys and make him the guy you trust the most? Well, that's a tough question. Uh, you know, we talk about being honest. Uh, practice determines everything. So he must have practiced the best and, and done the best job in practices and, and really took advantage of opportunities as they presented themselves because going into fall camp, he was probably the third or fourth guy. And uh, it just, he just kept stepping up and making plays and being there and not being injured and not being suspended and, you know, and all, all that stuff. And, and so, crud, it's his opportunity. He wasn't letting go of it. I'm, I'm proud of him for it. Um, not a lot of guys with good stories about playing Louisiana around here. Did you beat them when your first year at Arkansas State? Yeah, Did you have whipped, a win? Yeah, we whipped their butt. <laughs> we went down there and we scored 50 on those suckers. And they were mad about it the next year now. <laughs> so, what, yeah, uh, we, we beat them. And, uh, and next year, last year they beat us, and the score wasn't it nearly an indicator of, of what they did to us. They, they scarred us emotionally a little bit now. It was serious. So, uh, 
They're a good football team. They're a physical football team. And if you don't have your mind right, you can't run the football. It's going to be a long night. So we got to do a good job of making sure our guys are prepared. And you know, bottom line is, this is a good football team. Won a conference championship in three straight bowl games. So you know, I don't know what everybody else is expecting. I'm expecting a freaking battle. <laughs> they're a good football team. Nine wins. But around here can say we had nine wins in a bowl win last year, so we better have our hats on. Strange to uh, be facing the same team with a completely different set of guys. It's a different deal, I'll be honest. <laughs> you know, but that's part of the business. So, yeah, um, it's a it's a little bit of advantage, you know, knowing what they got, knowing where they're from, knowing the speed they have. But yeah, it's a different deal. Coach Sanford's talked a lot about his relationship with you and, and just. You about sitting up there in the box next to him and kind of the, you know get your opinion on things and stuff. How's that kind of gone during the game? How have you liked being up there in the box and that whole dynamic? He's just being nice. That guy's <laughs> called. He's done an unbelievable job calling plays, um, and he sees it as well as anybody. And hey, I'm just up there trying to make sure that he has water and diet coke. You know, other than that, he's doing a great job. And, and we all communicate information. Coach Huff, Coach uh, Adams, Coach Rick, Coach Horace. Everybody does a good job of. Relaying information around, and, and but uh, Mike's doing a great job. Were you in the box at Arkansas State, or were you on the field? Um, both, both. Do you like what do you like? Do you like being up in the box and seeing the game from a different angle? Or were you just like, yeah, it, it's just whatever your role is, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, you know, I was in the box the last six games, I think, of the year, and then on the bowl game, I, you know, I went down on the field just because I felt like uh, I needed to be down there just with some other the dynamics going on, but. but Whatever coach asked me to do, whatever's best for Mike and Coach Horace, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever. When I was a GA, I was up in the box, and you know, whenever I was with uh, Coach Malzahn, too, I was well out on the field. So whatever they asked me to do. Mike was saying the other day he'll take suggestions from anybody for trick plays. Fans want to send them in, send them in. You, you guys got any good requests the last couple of days? I ain't into that business now. <laughs> I don't check. I ain't checking his email. So, no, no. Um, that, that we got Coach Horace got an unlimited book of trick plays. I'm sure Mike's. <laughs> Got plenty of emails too, but uh, you know, I, I didn't even know it's that until the one that scored last week. Yeah. But uh, the guy's got a great knack to call him the right play at the right time, and, and uh, he just knows it, you know. And you got to credit Mike for uh, listening to the head coach and head coach, you know, sticking with his gut, knowing it's a good call. And hey, Crud, that's why he's here. I mean, he, he's called some good time, you know, big time plays in good situations, and, and he's willing to do it at the right time. So that's just coming from experience. I, I was with another guy that had a knack for calling. <laughs> Big plays like that, and they're both really good offensive minds, both really good head football coaches.